Soon, well, if you're stuck thinking about the perfect fall meal for Thanksgiving, we've got you covered, and it's in this morning's. Uh, but with Belkies, we are making butternut squash. Check it out. It's that time, almost time for Thanksgiving. So how about a soup recipe this year? Scan the QR on your screen and let's make a butternut squash soup for your Thanksgiving table. For this, you're gonna need a butternut squash, an onion, some garlic cloves, some vegetable broth, a little maple syrup, salt and pepper, some ground nutmeg, ground ginger, and some olive oil. I'm starting with a nice butternut squash. Slice off the top and then carefully slice it down the middle. Once you've got it open, scoop out all of the seeds and now we're ready to prep our squash. We want to start with a little bit of olive oil and some salt and pepper and let's get that all rubbed up there. And now all we're going to do is flip it over and roast this in the oven, 425, and we're going to put it in here for an hour. My butternut squash is roasting in the oven and meantime I just cut an onion, skin on, not a big deal, and I've got four garlic cloves here that I'm going to throw in there when the hour is up. My squash has been in there for an hour. You can see it's nice and roasted. Now all I'm gonna do is grab that onion, throw it on there, grab those garlic cloves, throw them in there. Don't even have to worry about peeling. And now I'm gonna pop this back in for another 30 minutes. 30 minutes later, you can see my onions are roasted, my garlic is roasted, that butternut squash is ready to go. And now the blender comes into play. Check this out, look how soft our butternut squash is. It just peels away from the skin. And all we wanna do is just get it into the blender. Same for the garlic. Throw that in, get the onion in. Everything just squeezes right in. I'm gonna add a little bit of vegetable broth to this and I'm gonna start to blend. This might still be warm, so I'm gonna take my top, top off just in case, but I'm gonna put a rag on top. I'm gonna add in a little more vegetable broth to kind of blend everything. Some ginger powder, a little bit of nutmeg, a little bit of maple syrup, and some salt. Give it a little test for seasoning. Whoa, that is delicious. Wow. Let's serve it up with a little garnish. Impress your family and friends this Thanksgiving with a butternut squash soup. I top mine with a few pumpkin seeds for garnish, but you do you. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm Belkis Nure. Bon appetito. And that looks good there, especially with the cooler weather in store. All right, all of her recipes can be found on our website. Just head over to WSVN.com, click on entertainment, and then on bite.